Hello again, Steve Brown from Chowan Hardware, beautiful Portland, Oregon. Today we're going to show you how to program the lock with your laptop and not a DTM. So uh, go ahead and open your, your software up and uh, cl double click on your lock. This is what you're going to need to program your lock with the laptop. The lock user number is what the lock knows. It knows user 12 is this code and user 13 is this code. It doesn't know a name. And when you manually add and delete numbers manually, not with a laptop, you would delete user 12 or delete user 13 or 14, whatever. You don't delete them by knowing what the PIN number is card number because if they had a card with no pin well how in the world are you supposed to delete a card so you delete the user number right all right so if a card is in the system without a name it's okay I mean if you have the card in your hand uh, the, the old user of the card gave it back to you and you're recycling your cards uh, and I did that a lot here where I work I just had a fobs and I would just put a new name with the fob and just say here you go and I wouldn't have to go back to the lock but in this video we're going to show you how to do it with a laptop okay so with my cable is plugged in I want to go up to tools now my cable is not plugged into the lock it's just in my hands. And so we're going to go to Tools and COM port test. I want to test all. And there it is on COM port 2. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay, I'm going to go there. I'm going to go to Set. Now I know that my cable is actually talking. And I'm going to plug that in with a little nub on the black side. Now, my lock is so old, the cable's loose. I don't know if you can see that wiggling in there. Some are very tight, but this one's loose. So, in the loose ones, uh, I almost need to put my finger in the back of there to make a good, solid connection. Or else you may not. You may not uh, get a good connection there. So, let's go back to the computer. We're going to go to communication. And you could do, you know, you're holding your laptop in your hand. I don't know what that error was. You could do this all ahead of time. But, you know, start that and then plug your lock in. And now we need to put our master code in. Okay. There's our master code. Here we're going to put in the code 654321. Wait two seconds, press the A. You hear the eight quick beeps. Now it's in program mode, it's going to chirp at you. I'm in program mode, what do you want to do now? It has 99 functions. The function to turn on the lock with this cord is 58. So it's function which is the A, 5, 8, followed by the star to complete the function. Now the thing is turned on. We're going to hit start on the computer. And it's confirmed. And it's sending. Very nicely. I'm going to let go of that just to see what happens. A lot of times they're so loose that they just fall out, so you have to put a little pressure on there. Not a lot of pressure, just a little pressure to make the contacts inside. Alright, so now that it's done, I'm going to pull that out. It's still in program mode, so it's very important. So many people try their codes while it's in program mode, and it's just like, Whoa, what's happening here? 
So you have to press any key. I like the star key. I just like that. So it it's a, it's an older one, so it's doing uh, more beats. That's signing off in Morse code for those Morse code buffs. All right, so now we can try our new code, 1879. Hey, that's good. It works. All right. And it's the same thing if you want to do an audit. So you go to communication, receive from lock, and I just select the event log. And I go back to the lock, plug it back in, push my master code. there and now it's receiving the log it holds 35,000 events and even if you change the batteries or even reset the lock to factory default it still has all the memory of everything that's happened but um, let's say that you bought the lock at a garage sale uh, and you had your your, your um, new software. Well, the new software doesn't have the names. And as I said before, the lock doesn't know names. All it knows is user number. So it'll just show up as user number. Let's see, it like over here, user number. And um, there's my channel, 1879. So you have to convert that user number to the code over here. Does that make sense? So it's still in uh, program mode, so we're going to pull that out, press any key for three seconds to exit. Now it's going to stop beeping there after a bit. <laughs> and that's how it's done. Okay, thanks for watching.